I know I'm late to the party on this one, but uh, give me some grace here. We did address the Kirk Herbstreet comments to a certain extent on our Florida State show Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. However, I gave that up to James, George, and Chris to provide their analysis on Florida State football. So here's my take without having seen the Herb Street comments. The one overriding characteristic of those comments that I keep hearing this terminology, it was unhinged. Maybe it was. I kind of feel as though, based on watching Kirk Herbstreit for close to 30 years, that he has rarely, if ever, been unhinged about a college football topic. I know that there was a certain social issue a few years ago in which he was slammed concerning. All right, but let's get to these comments concerning Florida State and were they truly snubbed out of the college football playoff. Okay, so here's the tweet or the post on X. Quote, because Bama is better in caps, period. Okay, let's also understand before I dive any further into this, Kirk Herbstreet is not on the college football playoff committee. He does not have to go by their criteria. He is an analyst and he's one of the best that does it. I don't think there's a lot of people that would debate that, that know what they're talking about. He is one of the best. Is he the best, the third best, the fifth best? He's in that range. He is really good at what he does. No doubt about that. He knows college football. He played the sport. He's been announcing it, analyzing it forever. So he says because Alabama is better, period. So is Texas. So is Michigan. So is Washington. So is Oregon. So is Georgia. Okay. So he even took it past the teams that were invited to the college football playoff. Invitational. It's an invitational we, we noted that here at the Voice of College Football way back in 2014. I watch Herb Street saying this. I watch 10 to 15 games a week live. I don't know how he does that. But anyway, he may mean that he catches up later in the week to watch 10 to 15 games from September to early December. I think I'm allowed to have an opinion. Well, that's actually what he's paid to do, have an opinion. So he's certainly allowed to have one on who I think is better. A lot of better in caps. If FSU doesn't like it, it is not the best for. Tell the conference commissioners to change the protocol to most deserving. Good point there. Valid point. Some of us believe most deserving. The teams that earned it, that should be rewarded for their earnings on the field, for the wins and losses. Others, hey, just the four best. Want the four best teams. I was asked that tonight on our call-in show. Mark. Give us the four best teams. I'm asked that all the time. Forget what the records are, the schedules, the strength of schedule. Just give us the four best. If God could come down and tell us the four best, I would take that. But otherwise, I'm a most deserving teams that earned it guy. But I do believe that the four best are not necessarily the ones that earned it. Most deserving. Okay, so he's letting us know that the conference commissioners came up with the criteria for the college football playoff committee to follow. It's stated out there all the time that the college football playoff committee uses no objective criteria. Well, that is completely a farce, and that's not true. They do use the criteria that is listed under the criteria they are to follow. And even though members have changed, and this is a completely different committee than it was nine years ago, they still follow the same criteria. They are charged to follow that criteria. So there is criteria. Now, how they apply it, that's inconsistent. They basically go into their bucket of criteria and choose the one or the two or the three that they want to use concerning that team, that situation, that scenario, and then they kind of hide and ignore the ones that go against what they are trying to uh, push. Okay, so again, Herb Street says, let's take it from the four best to the most deserving. Until then, I and everyone else is certainly allowed to give an opinion in a subjective discussion. Don't like it, change it. So he's not on the college football playoff committee. So I don't know what this is such a big deal. He used some capital letters. (laughs) And he put some caps on better a few times, put some exclamation marks. I guess he was unhinged in that way. And I understand that connotates yelling, screaming, using a loud voice. I get it. 
As I was searching for these comments by Herb Street, I saw that he appeared on the Pat McAfee show concerning this topic and defending his tweet, his post, and I watched some of that. And he completely denies that there's any kind of conspiracy between ESPN, Disney, and the college football playoff and trying to put on the best show and trying to protect the SEC and all those things. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. There are certain reasons why it's not hard to connect the dots to see the reasons why there might be conspiracy out there. However, it's not proven. That's what could be the conclusion of the investigation by the Florida Attorney General, Ashley Moody. Okay, back to Herb Street. He says, quote, I have to give an opinion on who I think the four best teams are. Yes, that's what he's paid to do. I'm not on the committee. I don't vote. I watch games. I analyze teams and I give my take. That's it, Herb Street said. And if you think I have an agenda or a motive, I'm sorry you feel that way, but it's wrong. I love this sport and I care about it deeply. I don't know that anyone can argue that. I don't know that anybody's invested. And I know that he's making a lot of money now, but he pretty much decided after his playing days at Ohio State, this is what he wanted to do. And he worked really hard to get where he is. Beside the point again, but still does love the sport, cares about it deeply from all indications and can't make everyone happy. That's the other thing. You're never going to make everyone happy, regardless of what he would say. If he said Florida State should be in, they got robbed, da, 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 then the Alabama fans would be upset and maybe some Georgia fans to say, are you kidding me? We're much better than they are. There's no question that Florida State is not the same team. They're not as good. They didn't perform on offense anywhere close to when Jordan Travis. And that's the, that's the travesty in all of this. It's horrendous that Jordan Travis got hurt. Now we would be able to really push the conspiracy theory if Jordan Travis was healthy and they still left out Florida State. And I understand there's talk about how the narrative was being pushed and being uh, kind of conceived earlier before Travis was injured. Can't make everyone happy. I ask questions of the commissioners in the offseason to understand things clearly, watch games, and give my opinion. Bingo, Kirk Herbstreet, you're doing fine. Hey, we can't handle situations perfectly. Maybe you could have used a few less exclamation marks and a few less caps. But besides that, yes, you are charged to give your opinion. And you believe the four best teams in the country are four other teams. I'm assuming those teams would be the four that made the playoff. Uh, but you also said that Georgia and Oregon are better. I have my opinion. The only difference between me and Herb Street here is that he believes that the committee should select the four best, that the four best should go into the playoff. I believe that I've got my opinion about the four best teams, but I don't believe that those should necessarily be the four playoff teams just because I believe four are the best. And shoot, the history of the playoff shows that the four best have not been selected many times. So that's another call on the Florida State side. And again, folks, go to the Florida State channel. We have posted so much great analysis on this one. James Coleman, Chris Frazier, George Georgiatis, Renegade Report. So check it out there, right here at the Voice of College Football. Appreciate you stopping by. Hit the like button, subscribe. This is what we do. We talk college football all the time with you. See you next time.